Welcome to another episode of the Weekly Forecast, where we talk about some of the interesting games, betas, and alphas coming out in the next week. This week's forecast is brought to you by Gliza. Starting things off on Monday, November 24th, Shroud of the Avatar Forsaken Virtues goes into early access. This will be launching on PC supporting Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. Portalarium is attempting to bring us a new type of third-person fantasy RPG that combines a single-player narrative with a sandbox MMO. What piqued my interest is that the team creating this game includes Richard Lord British Garriott, the creator of the Ultima series, Starlong, the original director of Ultima Online, and Tracy Hickman, the author of Dungeons and Dragons modules, and one of my favorite book series, Dragonlance. This game will have single player offline mode, select player modes, PvP, player housing, and more. Shroud of the Avatar is a crowdsourced and crowdfunded game with over 130k supporters. I'm definitely curious to see where this game is headed. Our second release comes to us from the next chapter in the award-winning Geometry Wars franchise. Geometry Wars 3 Dimensions. Releasing on Tuesday, November 25th for PS4 and PS3, and Wednesday, November 26th for Xbox 360 and Xbox One. This game includes over 50 single-player levels, new battle modes, classic arcade mode, revamped co-op mode, devastating drones and supers, and an online competitive multiplayer mode. Also, to support their competitive multiplayer mode, they'll be launching with leaderboards for both community and your friends. Does this game give anyone else flashbacks to their Contra days? Once again, this week's forecast is brought to you by Gliza. Gliza is a classic non-linear 2D side-scroller set on a futuristic planet called Gliza. In 2081, when the Earth's resources are depleted, you depart on a mission leading the first interstellar colonization. You awaken from a cryostasis alone in an alien jungle where you must figure out how to survive. As you adventure, you'll attain access to intelligent drone systems and all kinds of weapon classes with ammo types and a plethora of skills and abilities. Finally, I couldn't leave out their gruesome yet entertaining death animations. Does this game interest you? If so, as a Kickstarter with a goal of $85,000 by Thursday, November 27th, this game definitely needs your support. We'll have a link in the About section below. Next up, the newest entry to the Persona series, rated M for Mature, Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinth. This 3DS release will be coming to us on Tuesday, November 25th, incorporating the gameplay style previously unique to the Etrian Odyssey series. Persona users will cross time and space to assemble as a new tale unfolds. This addition to the series introduces two new characters, Rei and Zen. Both of these characters are first years at Yosagami High and claim that someone took their memory away. Rei is a mysterious girl, always eating something, be it a corn dog or a donut. You'll almost always find Zen with Rei as he's very protective over her. Pretty much when it comes to Rei, he doesn't see anything else but her. Pre-order before the release date and get the Wild Cards Premium Edition including tarot cards, the soundtrack, a 38-page art book, and the best part? a 3DS XL Persona case with a reversible design. Now these aren't the only games launching this week. We'll have a full list right here up on the screen. It's a calm week for game launches, which is probably a good thing because my pocketbook is hating me right now. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on next week's forecast. Margaret signing off. Enjoy the game.